Hey everybody, it's Brandon Scheid with Liquid Force Kites and I'm here to talk with you about the Mission Control Bar. Now bar is one of your most important pieces of your kit because it contains your safety system. It also controls the kite, but most importantly it's the thing you interact with most. It's the thing you touch and it's right in front of your face. So it's really important that you have a bar that's simple and easy to use and that's safe and durable. Now the Mission Control Bar delivers on all those fronts in a several different ways. Some of the features are designed to be for safety, some of them are to make the bar more durable or more easily usable. So let's delve into some of the features and what make um, and show you what makes this bar so great and versatile. We're gonna start first with the chicken loop down here. As you can see, we have a single one-piece molded chicken loop with a rotatable donkey dick. This allows you to put the donkey dick in if you wanna use it so you don't come unhooked or slide it out of the way if you need to unhook and give this kite to somebody or you just wanna try some unhook tricks. This single molded chicken loop is um, a small chicken loop that brings the bar a lot closer into your body, allowing you to edge into your kite and not have your arms stretch out so far, as well as most kiteboarders don't really like to come unhooked. So to have a smaller chicken loop that's harder to come unhooked from was actually something that we tried to you know, get across in this chicken loop. For those of you that do wanna do some unhook maneuvers or want to be able to have the bar sit a little bit further away from you, we do make an accessory loop, a larger accessory loop, so that's easier to come unhooked from um, for those of you that wanna do some handle pass variations. So this one piece molded chicken loop is um, inserted into our safety system. Now this system works just as the industry norm is. It's a push away release system, meaning all I do is simply push the release away and that's gonna activate it, which flags my kite out on my center line. Now this slides through my PU tube all the way up to my center line. So I have the 100% depower safe situation, but I don't have any hassles with tangles or anything weird with my lines. Now you can see that this hood has ended in the upward position. I'm simply gonna grab the rotor head and not touch the hood. I'm gonna grab my key and I'm gonna insert it back and it's gonna snap into place with a really satisfying click. And that makes it really easy to assemble. So when you're in the water, if you do have to use your safety system, it's really easy to put back together so you can get back out on the water and ride. Now that is then bound to this rotor head here. So we have a rotatable rotor head that allows you to take the twists out of your center lines in case you do a bunch of back rolls or front rolls or down loops on your surf downwinder. It allows you to keep your lines um, tangle free and that's a really great feature. It's really easy to spin, whether loaded or unloaded. Now let's talk about the bar itself. It's a one piece molded composite bar. What that means is that there's no glue or rivets from bar end to bar end. That allows us to make a really durable bar that's also really light. Now we've ergonomically shaped this bar into a, a round shape so that your hands get less fatigue in them. It also tapers off down here into an even thinner diameter allowing you to have a, a nice loose grip on the bar. That's then wrapped in the EVA here and it's a non-texturized EVA. We felt that it was really grippy enough when it was um, wet that it didn't require a texture. So it's a really nice plush, soft, grippy material. So then we move to our bar end and our bar end has a lot of different features that some adjustability and some um, longevity for your bar. So by sliding up this EVA float, you're gonna notice first of all that it's disconnected from the bar end. That gives me more responsiveness in the initiation of my turn on my kite. There's no lag, it's not caught up on the bar end. So by sliding this EVA float up, first you can see that we have some adjustment knots. Now these are to tune your bar when your bar comes out of tune. Most of the times your center lines stretch first, so being able to lengthen these lines allows you to keep your bar in tune longer and give your bar a lot more life. Also by sliding this EVA flow up, you can. this gives me access to my adjustability. So I have a slot up here, and by simply pulling out this cartridge, rotating the cartridge around and inserting it back into the bar, I have changed my bar length from 55 centimeters to 49 centimeters. So I have a full six CM of adjustment underneath here. So once again, by pulling the cartridge out, rotating the cartridge and putting it back in, you can see that line actually moves in the slot out to that 55 CM um, length. I'm gonna slide this EVA back down and you can see we finished the bar ends with our um, soft bar end material. That allows you to have a rigidity enough to wrap your lines around it, but it's soft enough that if it comes in contact with your body or your board, it's not gonna cause any harm or damage to your equipment. And then we have our um, line manager, um, elastic line manager, so that when you wind up your lines at the end of your session, they don't come off and uh, keeps your setup time to a minimum. 
in the in the next time you go out now this bar itself is uh also comes in a smaller version it's the mission control compact so it's a full 10 cm shorter which means we get adjustment from 46 centimeters all the way down to 40 cm so this bar is a smaller bar maybe for someone who wants to do more handle pass variations or just wants a smaller more compact system okay so back to the features that are on both bars we move from our adjustable bar end to our center line so our center line is covered in a pu tube that encases both the load bearing center line as well as my safety line so not only does this keep those lines uh, lasting longer meaning less wear to and tear to those lines less uv exposure it also stops abrasion on your hand or any bad situations that could happen by putting your your hands or fingers through those open lines so the pu tube has um, increased the the life the long lifeness of this bar meaning it lasts a bit longer it's more durable and it's a lot safer that pu tube is then um, inserted into our stainless steel cleat up here and we chose stainless because it's really smooth and polished and really smooth on your d-power as well as it's corrosion resistant so it's going to last really long as well as be really easy to use part of what makes this d-power line work so well and smooth is actually our pulley up um, where our center lines attach so this is our center line attachment point and it has a really smooth pulley it's also really lightweight it doesn't weigh anything so it's not going to bog your center lines down and it's also adaptable to fifth line or four line. So if you want to fly a, a five line hi-fi or you want to get on a four line bridled kite, you can do both with the mission control bar. Now, as we know, a lot of people ride with plenty of power these days. So if you do happen to have to depower your kite and ride in a, in a situation where you have this extra trim line here, it's got a Velcro um, on the end and you can go ahead and stick that to your stainless cleat and that's going to be out of the way. The last thing that we have on these bars is our Teifelberger lines. They're the, they're the most stretch, stretch resistant and longest life lines that you can get. So we have um, 20 meter lines with three meter extensions giving you 23 meter lines. So you can have either 23 or 20 meter lines depending on how you like your kite to fly or what your preference is. Those uh, are topped off with our pigtails that are adaptable to allow you to put this bar on any kite on the market. So we have um, the ability to, to maybe fly this bar with uh, any of our competitors kites or with liquid force products. So that's the mission control bar in a nutshell. It's a really uh, wonderful bar in that it's simple. It's easy to use. It doesn't have any bells and whistles as everything you want. And it's also really safe and easy to uh, easy to use your safety system. And that's really important as well. So the mission control bar really delivers on all fronts and I can't wait for you to get your hands on one.